another edition of Beer for Breakfast ABV. I am Danielle from The Moke Show on 91X. As always, I've got Brewmaster from Carl Strauss, Paul Segura with me. What's up? And, uh, you know, we know that Carl Strauss has been around for a long time, but another brewery that's been around in San Diego for a super long time is Pizza Poor. We have Yay. head brewer Mai from Carl's Bad Village. We have Jesse, events manager, and we all know Miss Jillable herself. Oh Jill is here. Uh, welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you guys. So, before we came on camera, uh, we pre funked with not one but two beers because right. you guys brought amazing stuff with you. First off, we started out with the Cortez Dink, which is a double IPA, 8.5%, and it's a collab beer. Tell me a little bit about it, Mike. Um, it's a collab with Grains of Wrath in Washington. Uh, it's 8.5%. Um, it's a real light uh, grain bill. And uh, the hops are Galaxy, Mosaic, and Citra. Nice. Why Grains of Wrath? Uh, they're really good guys. Um, I met them up at, um, what was that, Master of Hops. Yeah. Um, and uh, we just got to talking, and we both liked each other's beer and said, let's do a collab. Rad. So when you do yeah. a collaboration with somebody specifically in another state, you know, we all do things a little bit differently. Were there any, like, you know, like headbutting or like, you know, this is what we do in Washington? And you're like, well, this is how we uh. do it in San Diego. <laughs> No, <laughs> not really at all. So it, it was, was, it was pretty, a perfect yeah. blend of, that, okay. That's probably why we liked each other, because our beers tasted similar, so. That's awesome. <laughs> right on. They're both light and dry and real hoppy, so. Yeah. And this, then one. this one. This one. This one. This one. Super good. I'm really glad. You all said right. 500 I, I wet hop pounds of citra. Mm -hmm. And I had to come clean. I had to come clean. Paul suggested we do a double beer pre funk. I was like, I don't know, dude. Two and I'm times. so glad that we did because this Two beer times. is legit. Two times. Mm -hmm. So this is the wet hop raceway IPA. Both because ton pizza of citra. pork is like Doritos. You can't stop at one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is um, probably our most popular house beer. Uh, Carlsbad Raceway is like our house IPA. So once a year we get to do 500 pounds of fresh citra um, and we get it driven down from Yakima overnight. And um, yeah, this is the end result. Uh, it's really uh, light and dry. I think real light, this uh, kicks character. butt so much because like the malt profile doesn't <laughs> interfere a lot with the hop profile. I mean, it's beautiful and clean and dry, and I mean, it's just there enough to let the hops really show through. And if you're a hop head, most of us are, that's, that's like the perfect Mike, base Mike beer. That's like Mike Abish IPA in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jill. It's just beautiful. Here it's got for this you, buddy. slight bit of like biscuit flavor in there, but that's it. It's just clean and it allows the hops to really poke through, man. Dig that a lot. Oh, Very look at it go. <laughs> look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, oh, it stopped. Yeah. So this beer right here, which I'm pouring really awfully. I'm sorry, guys. This is a Japanese lager, right? Yeah. So lots of rice in this one. Yeah, 30% rice um, in the grain bill. And then also um, I use a mash enzyme in this one to get it to dry all the way out and get that real um, clean, dry um, flavor. And then I actually run it through uh, two plate and frame filters. Oh, wow. I have two plate and frame filters at Pizza Park Carlsbad. So one's uh, the 700 uh, micron and then the other one's 250. Just to get it really, really clean, really dry to emulate um, the uh, Japanese lagers I've had in Japan. So really light in color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, like head, lasting head on it though. Yeah, I, I really enjoy this beer, so. Can we talk about um, specifically beer head a little bit and why it's important that you've you've got that head on there? Because I would say for someone who isn't you know very well versed in the craft beer, you might go and you know you always come on, ladies, two you fingers, right? We want two fingers. <laughs> tell us all about the two fingers, Jill, and why we want that much head. Um, you know, Mike explained this to me once, and I think he really he he says it better. So uh -huh. we're gonna just kind of tell me all about back the head to on him beer. On this. Um, well, I mean, if you have a nice a nice head, you know, to go along with you know really nice carbonation, you know, you have really that brings out the aromas, and I think it brings out a better flavor in the beer as well. Absolutely. A lot of what you're tasting yeah. is also smelling. Mm -hmm. And when the bubbles come to the surface and they pull hop oils and resins and other like, and they, the bubbles pop on top of the beer and they, mm -hmm. you smell everything. And that just gives you more experience with the beer. It, it helps you taste it better. And what's the key to the perfect pour? Like what's the key to head retention? Uh, Proteins, hop oils, mm -hmm. carbonation. Glassware. Yeah. Also glassware, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of good factors. 
grain choice? Does that have anything yeah. to do with it? That's so there's a lot of factors. Good head is a good job, right? It's Always. I was trying to Always. not get to that point. Always. But Always. I'm talking about the beer. Paul, can you explain to me how difficult it is to get a beer that has this kind of clarity? Because I don't really feel like I see many of them. Because it's uh, You double filter it through plate and frame using 700. And 200. And 200, yeah. yeah. Um, super clear. That's mm. beautiful. This is a really, really Thanks, good though. beer. You know, it is November. You never guess it by the 80 I degree know. weather outside. Right. So we haven't talked about the flavor, but this beer is extremely clean. Mm -hmm. And on a light beer like this, if there were any flaws whatsoever, they'd pop out because there's not yep. a lot of flavor to like mask them. Right? So good job on the fermentation oh, and all you, the... It's hard to make a good beer. People don't realize like with light beers like this, Especially they're really beers, hard to make yeah. this clean. Yeah, really, as I've grown as a brewer, um, the lagers have really become a lot more challenging uh, for me. And um, when you get older, I guess they just become the beers that you want to drink more, I guess. Yeah, yeah. you don't need <laughs> don't six pints of 7% yeah. IPA every day. Well, and, I, and I, you know, I have to commend Pizza Port, no matter what location you're at, whether you're in OB, Solana, Carlsbad, the array of beers that you have it doesn't matter what kind of beer drinker you are you guys have everybody covered and i think that that's you know one of those things that not every brewery does you know we know that everybody's into the ipas we get it and you guys yeah. make phenomenal ipas but you also make really good stouts you make amazing lagers it doesn't really seem to matter what you guys do you guys the standards are so high that you don't just put something out because your tank was full yeah, why is that mm -hmm. I mean, do you guys have like just this really robust human resources department that really screens the <laughs> heck out of uh, brewers? Or, I, or is there a training program I, there? Definitely that, training process. Yeah. Five years of training. Yeah. I think it's the training, and I think it's that the brewers are always super inventive and pushing the envelope and kind of looking for influences in other places. But also, you know, Gina and Vince have always kind of given them the rule of brew beer you want to drink, and they're not going to brew something that they aren't interested in themselves um, and that they don't want to try. Uh, and I think that's really great, and it just opens up possibilities, um, you know, so infinitely. So if, if it's beer that the brewers like to drink, chances are they're going to want to do a good job making it, Absolutely. right? Because they kind of have a selfish interest in making sure it turns out good. <laughs> yeah, me as a brewer, too, you never want to turn anybody away, you know? Like, I would like to have a craft beer for the Bud Light drinker, the Coors Light drinker, all the way up to the, you know, Uber, uh, you know. Maybe not so much the pastry stout guy, but the uh, <laughs> imperial <laughs> stout barrel aged but, stuff. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, but this yeah. beer, for instance, yeah. you know, we, we talk about gateway beers a lot, and yeah. this is a perfect way to show somebody who might like those bigger, lighter yeah. beers. Like, Absolutely. there's nothing to be afraid of. There yeah. is something for every beer drinker out there. Um, but but let's pivot. Let's let's oh, go. Let, let's, the opposite spectrum. let's go to the other side of the spectrum because coming up is the 22nd annual Strong yeah. Ale Fest. Whoop, whoop. This is one of those events you don't want to miss because yeah. these are the strongest <laughs> of strong ales you guys have. It is. It happens once a year, and yeah. you know it doesn't hurt that the trolley stop and the train station is right there. Right there, <laughs> literally right down the street. Yeah. So highly recommend it. I was going to plug since that so Uber hard. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And there's hotels no drinking and driving where after this like event. I, yeah. I did get the last four rooms at Motel Six for our sales but team. But there's, so there's, so there's others. There's others. There's really options. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's a two-day event at our uh, Pizza Park Carlsbad location, actually right next door in our bottle shop. And we're going to have uh, 60 beers over 8%. Just throw that in your face. Um, <laughs> wow. It's goodness. amazing. So it's uh, November 30th and then December 1st. And tickets are $100 for two-day all-access VIP and then all the way down to 50 for that amazing general admission. Maybe you don't want 10 hours of 8% beer. Why do you? you but if you don't, you like like, got to question what you're doing with your life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then um, Vince, our owner, always does barbecue, phenomenal food. So, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Sweet. Well, yeah. I know that you guys brought the blend from last year. Mike, would you mind opening yes, this super no fancy bottle for us? Yeah. So, there will, I'm assuming there's going to be a specific blend for this year as well, right? So, we're actually doing something completely different Ooh. this year, going off our rocker. Oh. Um, we've definitely stuck to our cans like hardcore for the last five years so this year we're gonna do a mixed 
six pack. Ooh, We're gonna do uh, three triple IPA cans what? and then three Imperial Milk Stout cans. Oh, We're damn. super excited about wow. it. The artwork is amazing. They play off of each other. So yeah, we're really pumped so on that one. So once again, you guys are covering the spectrum of beer drinker. Yep, if you're absolutely. a hot head, you're covered. If yeah. you love these really dark straw, oh my gosh, look at that, Paul. Oh, yeah. yep. that, that just looks like a beautiful <laughs> beer right there. Oh my goodness. My tongue is saying yes. <laughs> Bring um, it. Before we get into this, I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about the food at Pizza Port. Yeah. I don't know what you guys do to the dough of your pizza. Mm. It's love. It's love, exactly. Yeah. There's no. something <laughs> about it. It's just your pizza is absolutely delicious. You know, the sauce that goes into it is just awesome. You guys Thank always you. have a super amazing lunch deal. Doesn't matter what day of the week, seven days a week. Yep. Super legit yeah. lunch deal. Like, I just, it doesn't matter where, what Pizza Port it is. If you have not eaten pizza at Pizza Port, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> right. Really need I had to reconsider. the best pizza of my life there. Mm -hmm. Did that carne asada pizza? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so good. Yeah, our pizza of the month this month has mac and cheese on it. Oh, my gosh. It's oh. to die super for. I just stoked. tried it. Oh. Filling and amazing, just like yeah. you want it to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, so this, 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 this big, big beer right here, uh, coming in at 13.5%. Woo! Strong oh. barrel aged. <laughs> mm. Right on the heel, heels of Beer Week, too. I know, I, don't, I didn't think I'd be ready for this yet, but. Oh my gosh. Wow. That does not drink like 13. No. Yeah, yeah it was. Wow. It, it dried out quite a bit. It was, uh, um, the finishing gravity was about uh, 10. Um, 1018 uh, or 1.018 1. specific gravity. What else is so, in here? Uh, is there like cinnamon? I'm getting no, nothing. Nothing. You know, there wasn't like any adjuncts in the spear. Um, it's just all from the you know grains and the barrels. Seriously? But yeah, this is a blend of um, uh, this was um, Buffalo Trace uh, barrels nice. and uh, some uh, Woodford Reserve uh, barrels, and this was. Um, about 60% uh, um, barrel-aged uh, Knight Rider, about 20% uh, barrel-aged Z-Man, and then I blended back 20% uh, of a fresh batch of Knight Rider into Ooh, it. Good job wee. with the blending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank I you. I mean, it's got just the right amount of oakiness, so it doesn't, it's, doesn't yeah. taste at all like chewing on a popsicle stick, but you know it's there, and you get that little boozy flavor that's there too. Yeah. And I'm getting like graham cracker or cinnamon or something. Maybe that's yeah. American well, oak. Yeah, this was by far my favorite um, uh, strong ale bottle that we released. Um, really, really happy with the way this it turned out. This is insanely good, man. Well, and yeah, are, are you. you pleased with the way it tastes like a year later? Oh uh, yeah. Are you no. pleased with the yeah. way? Are you pleased with the way that it's like continuing to age? And yeah, I actually like it better now than do I do. Do you? Was the professional wax dipping? I think yeah. is <laughs> yeah, for right? sure. Definitely. Was what all Jill's wax itself. dipping for yeah. sure. Yeah. And Jamie, by the way, we gotta give a shout. Definitely uh, Jamie. For sure, Jamie. Jamie. Did you burn your fingers at all? No. no. No? No one got burned wow. this year? Wow, good job. I mean... I've done wax <laughs> dipping before. Not on my watch. <laughs> wax dipping is it's not fun. It's happened in the past. We're not going to lie about it. But <laughs> I think it's happened to me. In the I mean, yeah. you know, I'm not... Like, the wax bottle looks real cool, but as a consumer, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's a labor of love. Yeah, it it, but then you feel like you've really earned it yeah. once you've gotten into it. Absolutely. No, so this will be at Strong Ale Fest, right? Yes, the good. bottles okay. yep, will be available. Absolutely. We'll, wow. we'll be selling them along with the cans and two years previous as well. So right we'll have on. three bottles yeah. and then the cans. And we, will, we will also have this this year's, I did another blend um, this year that will be available on draft. And oh, cool. It'll be uh, showcased at the show. Yeah, so people will be able to kind of taste them right. against each other. Yeah. It's really fun. Like I've been hoarding just two or three or four cases of all these <laughs> bottles to do like select five-year verticals. So how many breweries are, are coming? There will be 70 different breweries 70. there. Uh, wow. Yeah. So how many different beers? Is that over 100? Something. Yeah, there'll definitely be over 100 selections. Wow. For sure. Cool. They'll that's rotate amazing. as the time goes on. We only have so many lines available. It's so uh, that's, the really, yeah, <laughs> that's the really important part lines. about the $100 two-day <laughs> VIP right there is that you get to try all the 100 beers that we'll have on is draft. invite only? Uh, like Firestone it is an invitational. We definitely reach out to our friends. Um, of course, if there's a really amazing beer out there and you're like, hey, I really want to showcase this, um, you know, we're happy to have you. But it is long-term friends that are there. Yeah. We try to make yeah. it. So awesome. kind of like a family reunion. Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, there are um, attendees that yeah. come in and they're like Strong Ale 1 shirt. Yeah. 
And oh, I'm like, wow. oh my gosh, no, you know, it's, and it's a tradition for it's, sure. I've got one. I would also, well, so I, I would also assume that, you know, for as long as Pizza Port has been around, these are also a lot of like the brewers that came out of Pizza Port right. over the there years. There are, and yeah. I would absolutely. assume for Vince and Gina, it's like so. It's almost like seeing your kids, yeah, you know, go off yeah. and like absolutely. be grown ups. And uh, <laughs> Jesse, one more time, where do you get tickets for Strong Ale Fest? Eventbrite.com. So just type in Strong Ale and we'll pop right up. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, remember, this is Strong Ale Fest, so get on the train, use those lifts, those Absolutely. Ubers, get a room, be safe, because this is not one of those beer festivals that you will be walking out of the way that you walked Not a session. <laughs> I learned the hard fast. way. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Gosh, I wish I had seen that. Mm. If we play oh, our cards pretty. right. Right? I was like, well, 21 years ago, I was not old enough to drink. Lay the foundation <laughs> before you start drinking. Eat a big pizza Again, before you start drinking. Definitely You'll be where right. the pizza comes in handy and then snacking on Vince's awesome creations. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. Always phenomenal food. Yep. 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 Right on. Well, Jillian, Mike, Jesse, thank you guys thank so much. You. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having us. For sure. For breakfast. Keep killing it. Mr. Segura, I can't wait to see you at Strong Ale Fest. Should be we'll fun. We'll definitely hang and have some <laughs> have some good beers. I can't hold you up. I'm like half Cheers. your height. Uh, hopefully you won't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you. We will see you at Strong Ale Fest. And remember, every Friday morning, Paul comes on to the Moog Show and tells Mo, Jared, and myself, as well as you, what you should be drinking this weekend. Pretty sure... Uh, It'll be this. <laughs> good luck for the rest of the 9 o'clock hour. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, and cheers to good beer. Cheers. cheers. Local beer. 91X.